Hey guys, what's up? This is Freakish here. This is my second video of the day. I'm going to show you how to get Visual Basic 6.0 Enterprise Edition absolutely free. So, this is what we do. Um, inside the description of the video, over to your right, inside the description, I already told you it's the video description, there's going to be a list of links. These, right here, is what is going to be over there. So, in case you are too lazy, and since you can't copy it out of the video, I'm just going to put them there. So, what you do is you copy a link, or just simply click on it, so you, you download these in order. So, go here, go ahead and click on download file, now it'll ask you to enter in a code. So, mine says ZMZR, I'll click download now, it'll go ahead and give me this little thing. So, I'll go ahead and save the file it'll download it. it it gives you a pretty nice download speed I'm getting like 560 KB a second right now so that's pretty nice but um yeah for um for the sake of time I'm just not gonna do this you know so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel the download and um, just remove it from the list because um, I already have them all right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go through there there's like VB1 all the way to VB6 you're gonna download all those files to one location that's right you, you wanna only download it to one location one folder on your desktop wherever you find it fits the best so what you do is you run this file it'll ask okay so it asked me to allow it to have admin access so I gave it that so I'm gonna do the same thing again Okay, I gave it the admin access, it's running it, so I'm going to do the same thing again with 3. Okay, and so now it's done with 3, so I'm going to do VB4. Okay, there we go. So, this goes pretty fast, and it's really nice. So I'm going to do VB5 now. Okay, so we got VB5 then, so... You can see it's um, making the this folder right here, VB6 underscore setup, pretty nice. So now we're going to do it with VB6 EXE also. Okay, so now it launches the VB6 final extraction little window. It says, thank you for choosing, and then the site name to download VB6. That's my website right there. You can go ahead and check out my cool website. Um, tells you to please visit the forums and register. And then it says once the this finishes extracting the files, go in VB6 underscore setup and run setup.exe to install VB6. And then it I signed my name right there. And then there's a cool little tiny banner on the side I made. And it shows you the destination. Leave that alone um, if all the files are in the right spot. So go ahead and just click install right here. So then you can see it's extracting it all. It shows you a little progress bar right there. Okay, there we go. So, now we're done. We go ahead and open up this. Let's go back. It should be 243 megabytes if you've set it all up correctly. So go in here, and you want to go into the setup, right here, the setup.exe, and you want to run this. It, it should ask you for admin access on Windows Vista. You want to click run program and go through the whole setup process. And um, also, I recommend not downloading the MSDN database crap or whatever it tells you um, that takes up a lot of extra space that you don't really need and I think in my opinion this is just useless you can go online and get full resource access and it's way better than that MSDN thing unless you want it of course then go ahead and get it but, um, yeah alright peace out guys see ya um, I hope you enjoy this go ahead and pass it on to your friends see ya